What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm doing a little something different now, you know, these little head talks about a light, aperture light in the back, you know, trying to be one of those so-called YouTubers. It's before I start, I just want to say thank you to the newest subscribers. There's about five to ten of you guys, and I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. So before the video starts, I want to get you guys up to speed. In the beginning of this video, I actually recorded this about two to two and a half months ago. That's when I just started taking out all the stickers from the bus. And I'm going to be interrupting you guys about two times in this video because I just don't want to leave any gaps. Without further ado, let's start the video. I picked this bus up on February 16th and I started working on it today, which is the 17th. And today's task that I'm going to be doing is taking out these seats and taking out all the stickers around the whole bus. So if you plan on buying a bus, that's one of the first steps that you have to do, especially here in California. What you have to do is take out all the stickers and the front where there's red and orange uh, lights you're going to need to take out the red ones and put them to the back and bring the orange one in the back to the front it's california law that you can't have red lights in the front unless you're an official school bus i'll be making a whole video halfway through this build with all the paperwork that you need to do what are the rules how to register it and all that stuff but first things first is to get all this off and get the demolition started. So yesterday, I actually started it and this is what the back looks now. I took out the school bus sign on the top. There's a handicap sign that's right here and the number and then it says stop when red lights uh, flashing. So the way that you take out the stickers is you use a, a heat gun. My uncle bought this, what, how many years ago? Five five years ago at Harbor Freight for what 20 bucks you said 30 yeah. bucks 30 bucks 20 30 bucks and we're just using a chisel or my uncle's just using his finger but uh, what you do is you gotta heat up the uh, sticker uh, so that the adhesive melts a little bit and it just starts peeling off slowly okay I'm doing this whole side right here I gotta take that one up top off the one that I'm going to have a challenge with is this one up top right here. Okay, once I finish that, then uh, I have to remove the uh, stop sign that's on the side. Hopefully we could finish this today and then uh, take out the seats later on tonight. Gap right there. I got both sides done down. Check this out. Both sides are done. Now I just gotta go to the top. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. Cause I don't wanna go all the, all the way to the top. Cause I know it's hot as hell. I think I'm just gonna try to figure something out. All right guys, so I was about to finish it, right? But remember how we said that the thing was five years old? Yeah, it broke. <laughs> I was, uh, what do you call it? Heating up the sticker, then all I hear is pop, pop, like a shortage. And I was like, oh man, you know, the freaking, um, it probably got unplugged. Nah, dude, nothing broke. So I'm about to go to Home Depot, get a new one, and then uh, finish this off right before it gets darker so I could work inside and get the 
uh, seats out. So we'll see you guys whenever I'm back. So yeah, I said whenever I'm back. I never said how long. That's two and a half months later. This next portion was actually shot about seven days ago. Within those two months, stuff came up and I didn't really have enough time to work on the bus. I also waited for Emily. She was gone in South Carolina. So I wanted to wait until she got back. So yeah, no more talking. That's what happened. And... Today is demo day. So today we're gonna to be taking out the seats. Uh, the wife's not working right now, but um, this is the first thing that we need to get done. Let's take off the seats because the insurance company's like, hey, take a picture of the bus, and they wanna see it as like an RV. It looks pretty easy. I asked a lot of people on the forum, and they said it was just a couple bolts. So today we're gonna to need a 3 4 inch rocket. 3 4 3 4 of an inch socket, <laughs> sorry. And um, I was gonna use this, right, uh, to loosen it up, but I totally forgot that I got some tools for the bus build. Got an impact wrench. Pumped to use this. Brand new, you know what I'm saying? Ryobi, what's up? Hit me up. So there's a couple bolts I need to take out. Some here on the tracks uh, on the floor, and there's like four that are under here somewhere, or two. Let's see how easy this is gonna be. This is the last time I'm gonna interrupt you, I promise. So in this part, I don't know what happened. My SD card gave up on me, I think, or I accidentally deleted the footage because it's gone. I looked everywhere, all my SD cards, and they're not there. I mean, I had planned to take out the ceilings and the side panels and the insulation, but as you guys will hear in the next segment, we started talking about our floor plan. Sorry, I promise this won't happen again. I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. All right, what's going on guys? Uh, if there's a line across the screen, it's because my screen protector has a crack. It's actually the next day. It is 7 p.m. Uh, we're working on the bus very late. Um, we had to clean a couple of stuff in the garage to make room because I know that within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be um, using the garage to cut the wood and all that stuff for, you know, all the cabinets. So today um, we're gonna be ending up finishing the rest of the bus because look all the stuff is still on there it's on there because last night we ended up just talking about our different options of where things should be uh, we have about an 80 percent of a uh, uh, agreement on what we both want and that's honestly one of the hardest things about making a bus is that especially if you're uh, with your significant others that you guys have to you know find things that are going to be working out for the both of you but yeah, today we're gonna be finishing this up. Hopefully the top part will be out and all of the insulation will be gone. Big girl. Yeah, so what I gotta do is I gotta take all of this out. Once I'm done that, then I gotta get a box cutter and then cut this uh, the caulking that's on this side and on that side. And I think we're gonna take out this side first. Yeah. It's gonna be a long evening. Learning stuff about bus life, or actually bus conversions. We thought it was gonna be pretty easy, right? But, of course, you live and learn. So if you guys have a 2010 Chevy Collins or maybe some type of Chevy um, bus, this part right here, I believe they tack weld it from the back, I think, because you have to go under with the screwdriver and you have to just pull it back and then you'll hear a snap. Yeah. That's what we're doing right now because we're trying to take this piece of metal out. Once we take that out, then we're gonna be uh, pulling this down. But I think we're not gonna be pulling this down tonight. 
because I have to take all of these rivets and I have to drill all of them out. And then Emily also has work tomorrow, uh, but I have tomorrow off, so I might be just doing this myself. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we could at least just get this backside out. But live and learn, that's how, you know, bus life happens or bus conversions happen, so. Yeah. You good? Mm -hmm. Tired? Yeah. <laughs> okay, hopefully we get this done. This part, I already cut it, but I think it's kind of, um, they put some sort of glue, because this side is sticking very good. So we're, I'm going to take that out tomorrow. Also with this, I drilled it, but it's still not going. So... I'm gonna be finishing all this up tomorrow. I know I said I tried to do it today, but we started super late. It's already dark out, lights in, but it's okay. Cause now I know what to do for tomorrow. So first thing in the morning, work out, and then do this. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Here's a new day. Today, I'm working on the bus. But not yet. The only reason why is because we're taking this to the muffler shop. I'll explain to you guys later what happened, but pretty much my catalytic got stolen. I'm gonna try to see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. But where that metal piping is, the, the very, very clean one, that's where it was supposed to be at. Before I have to get it registered, I have to get that fixed. We're gonna go head out there right now to a local shop. His name is Anthony. They have a really good price. They're very good. They worked on my forerunner and my uncle's Priuses. So if you're in the Whittier area, then uh, go hit him up. Alright guys, good news. As you can tell, I'm back in the bus. Anthony fixed it. Check engine light is off. So now I gotta do the whole drive cycle because in California you need to do a drive cycle before you can register the vehicle, pass a smog test, and registration should be good. Finally, after three failed attempts, that's the first one that I did, second one, third one, this fourth one, I actually put it up on uh, the schoolie page, and the schoolie page is on Facebook. I ask questions, it's actually pretty cool. Some guy said just get a punch and then punch the pin itself through and then drill it with the 5 16th drill bit. So this is the first one I punched it maybe three, four times. I don't know if you guys can see that's all the way in. See if this one will pop off. You guys are wondering why I'm wearing this. Long story short, in the Air Force, I went to some training. I had to qualify for some shooting and my earmuff on my left ear, or my little small earpiece came out. So yeah, I lost some hearing on this side. So now, I got all of these. Okay, real quick. If you guys are gonna be doing this, don't be like me and use your fingers for this punch. Thought about this so that it'll save your fingers and it's definitely gonna save mine. Get a vice grip, put that on there. Put it right there, and hammer away. Behind it, there's like a glue, I believe. It's like this blue stuff. It's been glued on. So it doesn't fall right off. So you gotta use some elbow grease. What I'm doing is putting a hammer like this. And be careful, cause the first one that I did, all the metal um, shards ended up flying towards me. So I sweep them all out. But I pretty much just do this and then I just So, I thought that was gonna be easier. The first one was really easy, but of course, once I turn on the camera, it just goes downhill. So I got the bars gone. Thank you to who just recently subscribed. Thank you guys. 
uh, friends, family, people that I met in the military, people I met, you know, just on the side of the road, you know, just talking. I really do appreciate you guys following this adventure that we're gonna be going on soon, and this whole project is gonna be pretty crazy. If you guys like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna get notified, hit the notification button. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.